Tutorial 78 Compass Translation The previous tutorial we learned how to move and rotate your existed body with the tools translation tools found in transformation feature translation rotation and symmetry and here in this tutorial we can use the compass to do the same job and it might be easier for some to use so now you have your compass here and you notice you have this red square in the middle if you drag it you are able to put it on this surface and you can notice this is part to the surface or to the edge or on this surface and now let's put it on the surface and now we are able and you notice how the compass is changed and now you are able to translate or move this part according to the direction shown on the compass up down and you can even rotate your part and since we didn't select any feature so the compass will move this part or this feature and you are able to select the main body when you are moving so now let's select the pad and you have this compass is activated with the green lines now you are able to move this feature upward and let's update now you notice you move that feature alone and you can again select the feature and you have your compass activated and you can move it to the left update and now let's move it upward since since the since this cylinder is made on the top of that pad or this rectangle so there is a constraint so it will move with that pad so let's move it upward let's activate so you are able to move that cylinder as well and when you are done you can just again pull it back and now let's use the compass translation again but this time we're going to move the whole body at the same time not only one feature so let's drag it on this surface and select this feature and this feature and you can see that the compass is activated with the green color so now we are able to rotate that part you click update and also you can rotate in that direction update 